you're looking at these two cameras. These are gonna be on the market. I'm actually selling mine, right? So if you look here, one thing that I found very interesting was this bit right here. So the X3 and the X4 have essentially the exact same aperture and focal length. They have an f1.9 aperture and a 35 millimeter equivalent focal length at 6.77 millimeters. So they're the same there. When we look at their photo capabilities, they both do a 72 megapixel 360 photo and an 18 megapixel just like single lens photo. So that's not, they're not great quality photos. The 72 megapixel is decent, but again, they're the same. So that wouldn't be a buying differentiation. It's video when we first start to see the reason where you would switch. This one has 5.7K at 30 frames per second. It's got 4K at 60 frames per second, and it's got 100, uh, 100 frames per second at 3K. Now, the quality diminishes significantly as you start moving down that little bracket there. And I was never super impressed with the, the 3K 100. Remember, this is a 360 3K and a 360 4K. So when you're looking at it from just the single perspective as you like reframe, it's nowhere near the same quality as a normal 4K 60. Don't expect that. The new one is going to give us 8K 30, 5.7K 60, and then 4K 100. So that's a nice bump. It, it will be very interesting to see how that plays out. And I'm someone that believes that the, the proof is in the performance. The proof is not in the paper. We're looking at the specs right now just for you know the comparison. At the end of the day, the proof is in the performance, not in the paper. Just keep that in mind. Now, one thing to consider is the single lens capabilities. I have never been impressed with the single lens capabilities of this camera. You've got 4K 30, 3.6K 60, 2.7K 60, and then 1080p 60. I always wanted this to be better. Insta360, if you watch this video, that is something that I have wanted. I want this to be more of an all-in-one camera that I can use. And I don't want to always have to go 360, but like the single lens just wasn't there. Every time I tried to use it, I was like, man, it's just not worth going single lens. So um, just something to consider. I don't know what it would take to make that better. I'm hoping the X4 has it better, but those specs are unknown. The next thing that's different is the weight. This comes in at 180 grams and the new one's going to be 200 grams or 203 grams. That'll make a little bit of a difference, you know, at, at full extension, arm's length away kind of stuff, that 20 grams. But overall, I think that's negligible. I think people will be fine with it and get over it. I mean, I've already added this little bit of weight to it anyway. So um, one thing that I found very interesting was this bit right here. You see, this is 46 millimeters across. It is 114 millimeters high. The new one is 46 millimeters across and it's 123 millimeters high, so a little bit taller. But then Insta360, according to the leak specs, this is 33 millimeters across, the X3, that's known. But the new one is 26 millimeters across. That's six millimeters thinner. I don't know how they did that. If you do, comment down below. I'm curious. Maybe it's the lens part that's like, I don't know. I don't know what they did or how they did it, but it's thinner according to the leak specs. So that's very interesting to me. The battery life is 1800 milliamp hours on this one. The new one is 2290. So you're getting a, a bump in battery, which is going to affect the charge time. Well, actually, it's they did a really good job with charge time. This is, I meant the, uh, the performance time, but this is 90 minute charge time. So that's not terrible. You just plug it in and leave it for a little while, but it's pretty, you know, it's still 30 minutes more than the new one, which is 60 minutes for full charge. And in 36 minutes, according to the specs, you're getting 80% quick charging. So that's awesome. I absolutely love that. And now we get to runtime, right? This is 81 minute runtime. The new one at 5.7K, same settings is a hundred minute runtime. So you're getting 20 more minutes. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal breaker for anybody, but it's a nice benefit. At 8K, you're getting 71 minute runtime. That's more than enough for me. I've never had a problem with this battery like ever, but if you are doing that, it's just my use case. If you're just filming straight, then maybe that really matters to you, but you can always plug this sucker in. So just something to consider. Now, uh, the max video transfer rates is, this one was 120 megabits per second. The new one is 200 megabits per second. So that's a nice bump again. And then as far as the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi, everything is the same. So that's the specs, that's the paper. Let's talk about the actual new features for a second, because if you're trying to make the better buy, then you need to consider the new lens guards that can now be attached, the potential for magnetic mounting, the improved audio experience that's going to be there, the more than likely improved touchscreen, and then all of the AI software that's getting pumped into the new one. If you've stuck around this long, would you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel? 
my goal was to give you the information you need on the stuff that you want so you can make the better buy. And I did this video different. You may have noticed if you've seen my other videos that I have the likes and the subscribes pop up along the way. I didn't do that this time. I left them out. I had a comment from someone that said they were going to subscribe, but then they saw all of that and they're like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. And I was like, I hate that that's the reason. So I'm going to do this differently for a little while and see how you guys like it. My goal is always to deliver value, but I also want to make sure that I remind people to like and subscribe because that supports what I'm trying to do. I've got the Better Buy community. My goal is to stay unsponsored. It's not that I wouldn't take a sponsorship or if, or if somebody sends me a video or things to do, but I would be very clear that that was a sponsored video and I'm giving those kinds of thoughts on that sponsored video. I want to continue to deliver high quality uh, pro con reviews for you, the consumer, so that you can make the Better Buy. And my community helps me do that. Right now, it is free for the first 100 members. So we're at like 40 something. It's growing pretty quickly. Over the last week, we've gained like 30 or 40 people. And once we hit 100, I'm going to raise the monthly membership to $1. That's it, $1 a month. And you're in a community of people sharing stuff. Like I posted the entire spec breakdown inside of the community so people could kind of see and compare just really quickly. We're having great conversations and fun stuff. I am doing giveaways in there. Like I'm giving away a DJI Mic 2 or an Action 4 right now. All of the information is inside the group. But this isn't like one of those like scammy spammy giveaways where you just like like and follow whatever. Like this is meant to be something special for the people that are in the community that are helping and, and everything. And I'm trying to provide extreme value inside of that community. Um, now, the monthly membership is going to increase every month. So if you're sticking around right now and you're listening, essentially it's just going to go up, well, not every month, it's going to go up every 100 members. And once you lock in, you're locked in for life. Unless you leave and you want to come back, then it would go up. But like, if you join, it's a dollar a month for life. When the membership goes up, yours doesn't. And everybody that joins after the next 100 is going to have that new monthly membership. So continuing to add value to early adopters while also keeping the base monthly membership low enough that like people can come join and have fun and enjoy the group. That's the goal. Now, that supports my channel and helps me do what I'm doing. So if nothing else, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, jump in the comments because I love having conversations with you guys about all this stuff. And if you're the kind of person that's watching right now, you're the kind of person that I want in the community. You're the kind of person that I want subscribed because you're engaged, you're helping, you're, you're contributing, and I want to do that for everybody. So you're looking at these two cameras. These are going to be on the market. I'm actually selling mine, right? So if you look here, this is, this is my other one. It's an basically new condition. I only ended up using this one like twice and I kept it in pristine condition. So I'm going to resell that probably for like 350 is the plan. I'm going to put it on the market for 350. We'll see how that does in comparison to the other ones. Uh, I think that they are going for sale for 399. So I might have to drop mine to 299. But if you are someone that is looking for a 360 camera, the X3 at a 299 resale price point versus the X4 at a 530 price point, you're going to save $230 that starts to become a serious consideration. You know, if you're just trying to get into it and you want to begin to understand and you want to save 230 bucks, I don't, I mean, this is the best time to get into 360. You've got a much nicer touchscreen. You've got a much more affordable price. You can get these aftermarket products if they've been taken care of, like mine are in amazing condition. I kept all of the stuff, like I've kept everything exactly as it came. This is why you should take care of your products just in general, but like you're getting the the rubber cover right here. I've also kept the silicone sleeve. I mean like all of that stuff is there. So if you are someone that is looking for an aftermarket product, seriously consider going, searching around. Maybe you can find something that's a really good deal. I'm going to be selling mine inside of, or offering mine inside of the Better Buy community first. And if nobody's interested, then I'll go wider market. But at the end of the day, like you don't have to go for the X4 if you don't have the extra $230, $300 to spend. You could just do this one. But if you are thinking about upgrading and you have an X3 in good quality that you can sell for $300, bucks, you have now cut your price in half for the X4. That might start to be something you consider for the better buy. The last thing that I want to say is like, as you start to look at the new AI software that is in this camera, or well, that will be in the X4, I think they're going to go a long ways. And the reason I say that is, look at the iPhone specs. When we look at the iPhone camera specs compared to pro cameras, it doesn't even stand a chance. But whatever Apple is doing with their software processing, they've made that camera exceptional. If Insta360 has started or continues to figure out how to do that, 
then the 360 camera, the X4, the software inside of it, only has the ability to grow at an exponential rate. And they can fix things and upgrade things through software, kind of like what the iPhone has done with the cameras. So I think that's worth considering. If you're looking to do this long term and you really want to get into 360, it's an emerging market. It's something that I think is that I'm convinced is going to continue to grow as a as a market because once the quality starts to get there, people are gonna really get into it. Once the video editing back-end studio stuff starts to get better and more accessible to the to the you know average consumer, people are gonna jump in because it's fun. And like what you can do on your phone with this thing is awesome. I it's 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 getting much better over time. So I really love this thing. Um, I just think it's an incredible camera. I hope this video gave you the information you needed on the stuff that you wanted so you could make the better buy. And I've got more X4 stuff coming. In fact, ooh, spoiler for, or special for you. You know, everybody's trying to figure out memory cards. When you get these cameras, you get the Nintendo, you get all this stuff. I'm about to drop some major content on memory cards to help people make better decisions. Just really high quality stuff. So everything goes to the membership first and I help people out there, the community. Gosh, it's just fun. I'm just talking to you now, but thanks for sticking around. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.